Hi guys, welcome. It's Ashley with Bad Ash Vegan and Scout. Scout. And today we are going to tell you guys about Scout's birthmark journey. She was born with a birthmark on her face. You can see a little bit down here, but it's smaller than it was and we'll get into that. And this one is a birthmark too and yep. I just clicked my birthmark at the doctor's Yeah. Okay, you're getting a little ahead of it. So Scout was born with a port wine stain birthmark on her chin or also known as a hemangioma, so just blood vessels at the top of the skin causing it to be red. So it was three inches by three inches when she was born and we thought it was gonna go away, but come to find <laughs> out, come to find out, no, we needed to go to a specialist. So let's show them where you're at right now. This is what it looks like now. Let me zoom in a little. Put your chin down a little bit more, a little bit more. So she actually just had a treatment this last Friday couple days ago so this will all be her skin color but it was much bigger much bigger and I will impose I some and we'll talk eat. about that we won't be going today so I'll Yay. impose some pictures below so you can see like where we started and <laughs> where we are now so anyways Troy and I took Scout to Children's Hospital in Milwaukee when she was probably a year and a half to see a specialist on Port Weinstein birthmarks and she basically told us we have to remove it with a laser and it's not a pleasant experience. So at that time, you know, nursing my one and a half old baby, I'm just like, nope, let's go. So we left. So then fast forward about a year, a year and a half later, I'm, I'm guessing on ages here, but Scout was about two and a half, I wanna say, maybe a little older. And I ran into a woman at a flea market, okay? And she noticed Scout's birthmark and she stopped me. And she's like, there's this specialist in Milwaukee. She's great. I know a woman who's daughter's birthmark was huge and covered most of her face and she went to this specific doctor and got it removed you won't regret it do you want her information so I got in touch with this lady and I said what is your doctor's name and she told me the doctor's name and I'm like that's the same specialist that I saw you know over a year ago that being said it kind of jump-started my thinking about she's bigger now let's go reevaluate this issue so we went back to the doctor and we did a test laser because they need to put a laser on there to get the um, capillaries to open up so that the redness will go away. They break open and then the, the skin can come through. So we did a couple test patches. Um, Scout, do you wanna talk about that? And I'll put some pictures in here so you guys can see like the before, during, and after about how the transition went. But basically they cannot numb it. And the other option was to do an IV sedation, but that wasn't even plausible because the procedure itself, the actual laser on the skin, takes like 45 seconds. So basically, what do you do when we get to the doctor? You sit in the chair. And they click. They do a little click, click, click on her skin. And then each spot will open up those blood vessels and then the, her skin color can show through. Do you want to show what it looks like now? So on this specific moment, we've probably done nine sessions I want to say it was pretty big but it her skin is taking to it very well and she's so brave so we sit in the chair and I pray over her and she sits very still right don't you sit very still for the doctor cry. you cry a little bit yeah she's so tough though but I'm glad we did it honestly the doctor told us that it would be more effective when her skin is young so that's another reason why we decided to do it so I'm guessing we probably have two sessions left and then it should be mostly gone, right? So that will be exciting. So it took a long time to come to this agreement and decision to do it, but I'm glad we did. So if you guys have experiences with this, that's why I wanted to share the video because we didn't even know what a port stain, port stain birthmark was when we had Mom, her. Mom, I'm not going to that no, side. No, you're not. I'm going to this side. So we just wanted to share our experience and I'll, I'll be sure and put some um, like before and after pictures towards the end so you guys can see the big difference. Right, Scout? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be gone soon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you smile and then say what you need to say? What do you want to say? Thank you for watching. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I like you to see. Subscribe. And click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.